Do you use minoxidil, but you've been less than satisfied with the results? Well, in this video, we're gonna discuss whether caffeine can improve the effectiveness of minoxidil. The idea is that with zero additional side effects and minimal additional costs, you can increase the hair growing power of your topical treatments. But does it actually work? And if so, how much better are the results that you can expect? All right, let's jump in and take a closer look, shall we? When it comes to hair loss, the benefits of caffeine come only through topical application. You won't grow thicker hair by drinking more coffee, unfortunately. The reason being that caffeine stimulates the nervous system and you would be hospitalized or dead long before you achieve the necessary concentrations required to affect hair follicle growth. Topically, as in applied directly to the scalp, however, is a different matter. Scientists have known for a long time that topical caffeine stimulates hair growth when applied to hair follicles in vitro, as in a petri dish. For example, when you take scalp biopsies from balding patients and put them in a caffeine-containing medium, the follicles can grow hairs up to 40% faster. Crucially, caffeine in vitro is known to reverse hair growth suppressing effects of testosterone. In other words, when you subject hair follicles to a medium that contains testosterone, their hair growth is hindered. This makes sense when you consider that male hormones like DHT are strongly implicated in hair loss. But adding caffeine to the same medium alongside testosterone blocks testosterone's effects and the follicles revert to their normal growth pattern. Now, this is all great on paper, but does it translate to actual regrowth in real life balding men? And the answer is an unequivocal yes. You see, caffeine is very rapidly absorbed when applied topically. And not only that, but the scalp skin absorbs it primarily through the follicles, which makes it a potentially very potent hair loss topical. To date, we have a handful of clinical trials that looked at topical caffeine as a hair loss treatment, and they all came back with positive results. A 2011 study out of Italy recruited 40 men with various stages of androgenetic alopecia from early to advanced. The men had all abstained from any other hair loss treatments for the last four months. They applied a caffeine-contained lotion daily for those four months. And after two months, 75% of them had an improvement in their hair loss. By the four month mark, this figure had risen to 83%. Overall, 80% of study participants reported their satisfaction with this treatment. The study was very encouraging but its main limitation is that it had no control arm. In other words, caffeine wasn't being compared to another treatment, which is what you ideally want in hair loss research. Fortunately, a second study was published seven years later that did exactly this. This was a much larger one, recruiting 210 men across five recruitment centers. Half of the men were treated with a topical 0.2% caffeine solution, while the remaining with a 5% topical minoxidil. Their treatments lasted six months. And to compare the two treatments, the researchers used trichograms. These are simple medical tests where a small number of hairs are plucked from the scalp and examined under a microscope. Among its other benefits, the trichogram allows doctors to see how many of the hairs are in their active antigen growth phase. This is important because a key feature of androgenetic alopecia is a substantial reduction in the number of hairs that are in the active antigen phase, meaning you have fewer actively growing hairs any one time and hence poorer coverage. The study found that at the six month mark, the increase in antigen hairs was basically the same in both of the groups, roughly 11.7% with minoxidil and 10.6% with caffeine, a difference that was not statistically significant. This led the researchers to conclude that caffeine was quote, no less effective than minoxidil 5% solution. Though caffeine is applied topically, like minoxidil, it has a completely different mechanism of action. You might remember that minoxidil dilates the blood vessels, allowing more blood to flow to the scalp. While researchers are not exactly sure of caffeine's mechanism of action, it's possible that it acts at least partly by boosting cell metabolism. It's also a powerful antioxidant and there is some evidence it might also block DHT. So stacking it with minoxidil is the smart way to go about it, as they're both topicals and work in different ways. The problem is that many caffeine-contained products, typically shampoos, are full of toxic chemicals like parabens, sulfates, like sodium lauryl sulfate, or SLS as you might have heard it. Here at HairGuard, we've incorporated caffeine in our best-selling Maxoxidil topical serum. Now you can think of Maxoxidil like minoxidil, but with maximum power. We've added a clinically effective dose of caffeine to the formula. Don't worry though, it won't keep you awake at night. 
we found this caffeine dose adds even more hair growing power to the formula. In addition to caffeine, we added other ingredients, which boost Max Oxidil even more. For example, our team of specialist product developers also added zinc, oleic acid, adenosine, and niacin to help stimulate hair growth and block DHT from every angle. The result is a topical that people found to outperform standard minoxidil by a long shot. You can see some of our case studies at our website. So if you want to make the most out of caffeine, which you should, there's no downside to using it, then head over to hairguard.com and check it out. And there's our caffeine shampoo, which is professionally formulated to contain a high dose of caffeine along with other beneficiary hair growing ingredients. And we leave out all those nasty chemicals that damage your scalp over the long term. All in all, caffeine can be a beneficial addition to your hair care routine when it's used topically. It has essentially zero downsides and you can make use of it in your hair care routine by using a product like Max Oxidil or caffeine shampoo with zero hassle. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already and leave a like if this video was helpful. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions at all. All right, guys and girls, until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. More hair, naturally. Hair guard.